Good evening everyone, my name is Mikhail Boncia. I am an independent blogger. I cover mostly British Columbia news, some Canadian, some international. I'm based in Greater Vancouver, British Columbia. And my main specialty, like I said, is news as well as live events. Who am I? Well, I'm former international sports photographer slash reporter. I covered the NHL, National Hockey League and Vancouver Canucks, WHL, Western Hockey League and Vancouver Giants, as well as Memorial Cup, Man Cup, official photographer for a few events for the Canadian Army. And on top of that, I was for over three years official photographer for the Delta Islanders Junior A lacrosse team and was I was the official photographer for Arts Council of News Mister for over three years. I took away some time due to personal reasons which is about six and a half years. I'm back instead of focusing on live events I am now focusing on being a blogger. I just started doing this less than two months ago, so I'm still learning. But I will broadcast stuff that you won't find or hear about anywhere else. In some cases, you will hear in the main news, but in most cases, you won't. So if you want to hear independent news and independent live event news, Click subscribe if you like my content or click like and follow me on all the major platforms, well, most of them, on YouTube and Rumble, you can find the full videos on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and X, formerly known as Twitter, you can find the 10 minute videos because that's the time limit. I still have currently on those platforms. I will be broadcasting live on average once a day. Probably I'll be live on Instagram. Usually that's where I'm live. But time will change and then we'll see. So I'm looking for content as a new blogger. And since I'm looking for independent news and independent live events, if you happen to run a live event of any kind, it could be a parade, it could be an ethnic event, could be a sports cards or a stamps cards collection event, any kind of live event, musical event, let me know about it and I will post it for free of charge on one of my five broadcasts which I do Monday to Friday. Sometimes I do a broadcast on Saturday or Sunday depending how busy I am and sometimes I do a live event which I plan to do more down the road but currently I have zero live events. I did live events so many times in the past that is second nature to me it's just it's time consuming and I need more likes and I need more subscriptions so that my videos can be shown higher up in order so more people can see it and logistics. If you like my content, just simply click subscribe and like button. It costs you nothing and it helps me grow my audience and it helps the audience get to know more independent news and live events that otherwise they will not even know they were there. If you happen to own a company that is active in British Columbia, specifically, especially in Greater Vancouver, please contact me and I'll add it for free as well. The only thing that I will not add is something that is very controversial but that's like really one out of a hundred I can think of. I will add everything though for free 
so you have nothing to lose then contact me and say hey this is my event or this is my company we'd like you to say something about it i will look at it and then i'll take it from there on if you want me to drop by it might be a, a few weeks reason is i'm just doing this still part-time i'm hoping in the future to become a full-time thing but at the moment i'm still part-time i have the audience you can look at uh, facebook over five thousand thank you uh almost three thousand in one of my tiktok accounts i couldn't transfer from my old phone to the new phone the tiktok so my new phone has itself over a thousand i think tiktok followers and on twitter it's almost two thousand in the old account and the new account is i just started it i don't know why when i transferred from the old phone to the new phone only facebook transferred properly but TikTok, I had to start from zero and same thing with Twitter and a few other accounts. But overall, I still have access to both phones and I can broadcast ac across both phones. Now, if you have any other content or if you have suggestions, about what I should cover because you know the best way to learn what people that are listening and I see on TikTok especially we're doing really really well on average on the main account is 250 views a day I know it's a little but I just started about a month or something ago so for me it's a lot I do want to grow obviously the audience and the best way to grow the audience that are watching and listening is to listen to what the audience wants to know or hear. Put it down and I'll listen or contact me in private and let me know what is I should focus more on or, or less on and that way everybody wins. Because I will cover events and other news that otherwise nobody will cover. Especially for Greater Vancouver area and British Columbia. Now let's go on to the news. Again, it's September 21st, 2023 news. It's a bit late again. I'm sorry. No. I'm still dealing with uh, medication after finishing my cancer surgery, which was last week. But I'm going to go back to how I did it before the cancer, before I went to the hospital for the cancer surgery. And it will be on Monday to Friday in the evening. Might be late evening, but it will be on the evening. At the moment, I'm a couple of hours late, but the news are still relevant. And some of the news are actually breaking news, including that India has now put a ban on people going to Canada. Well, maybe not a ban, but watch the video and listen to my news and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, first news of the day, scientists recover RNA from an extinct species of the first well the for the first time of the Tasmanian devil the Tasmanian devil died well the, supposedly died some people keep claiming that they've seen it I have not seen it I've not been to Australia so I don't even know how Australia looks I heard it's gorgeous I have some family members in Australia from my mom's side but I've not been to Australia but the last supposedly Tasmanian devil died in 1936 in a zoo four people and this I'm sad about it's local news 
died early on the BC Highway 1, coming home, and the police identified them, Darcy MP identified them as being BC Wildfire Service subcontractors. They were going from Van der Wolf, Van der Hoof, hope I pronounced that right, which is near Prince George Fire Center, and I'm assuming they were coming towards Lower Mainland. This is a reminder. Our firefighters are stretched thin. They're tired. We don't need to see any more of our heroes. Doesn't matter if they're men, ladies, or whatever I call yourself. They need our help. Do not start campfires where it's banned. Do not throw smoke cigarettes where you're not allowed to smoke. Or anywhere for that matter. Unless you really, really make sure that it's off. Because you don't want to start a fire. This reminds me of a personal story. It is... Well, I won't name the person, but it was about, I think, three or four of our fellow Romanians. One of them came with us same day to Canada from the United Nations camp in Istanbul, Turkey. I was a, a kid back then. I was in, I started grade five. One left for Toronto. From our group, there was, there was four of us. One went to Prince George to plant trees. And at the end of the season, they were coming back home towards Surrey, British Columbia. And they were, they were they fell asleep. They hit the incoming semi and only one of them survived, who happened to be our friend, family friend. The other three, we probably, I probably met them as well. I just don't remember. I'm a kid. But they were, the, the, the survivor slept on, on the couch, if I'm not mistaken, for a week in my family house. And he was, he never recovered. He went on to living, at, I believe, at 110 or 100 mile house in British Columbia. He made his own home there, and he's doing okay. But you have to remember, these people are tired. They go in, and they work, maybe sometimes even up to 16 hours a day. When they're coming home, they're coming home dead tired. The last thing you want to do is cause more fires so that more people will end up like them. Media doesn't talk about them. Media talks about somebody who dies fighting the fire. But how about how many die driving to come home again to their houses? Number unknown, because that's just a statistic of death due to car accidents. That's it. All right, moving on. McBride. Central British Columbia. Declaration of state of emergency due to the drought. This means no car wash, no water lawns or gardens in the water. Gotta remember, British Columbia is dry. We rather have water than lawn the lawn we're supposed to get in the south coast for the next few days rainfall that will be badly needed if it comes according to weather in Canada then it's wonderful if it doesn't come mother nature it's like somebody going to photograph a bear or a wild animal in the wild and then complain, oh, I drove all the way to Banff or, or Lake Louise and I didn't see a moose, I didn't see a bear, I saw one deer. Well, 
what you expect the wildlife you can't control it it's not like going to the zoo and you see them all same thing with modern nature it's supposed to come rain if it does great we all need it but if it doesn't that's mother nature porter airlines is expanding to victoria british columbia which is the capital of british columbia very beautiful city european style i may add and it will be flying from toronto to victoria and from victoria obviously to toronto Porter Airlines it is expanding. It's an independent, as far as I can remember, airline, which is good. Competition is good. But we'll see if it's profitable enough for them to continue the expansion. There is a lot of places in British Columbia, especially Okanagan, Victoria, or obviously Vancouver, that you can come and enjoy and if you want to be in a hurry you can take uh, from Vancouver a helicopter ride if, to Squamish and then a taxi or a limousine from the helicopter area in Squamish to Whistler as well as you can take helicopter rides from Victoria to Vancouver and seaplane rides between Victoria and Vancouver so the connections once you come to Vancouver wide open to reach anywhere in British Columbia but it's gonna cost reason is they're small aircraft and you have to pay for the crew and you have to pay for the gas going on the new SFU Simon Fraser University Medical School will include a dedicated family doctor program. The family program, the family doctor program, the first family doctor will not graduate, well, at least expected not to graduate. Things can change. They could graduate later, not sooner, that's for sure, until 2030. The BC Second Medical School will not open until 2026. Again, it will be based on Simon Fraser University, SFU campus in Surrey. I love Mexican food. And for those of you that know me well, I eat often whenever I go out. It is a food that it's almost, I can't explain it. You gotta try it. Especially if you go to a cantina and if you happen to be in New Mexico, California, or even Mexico, or Nevada, I've been to all those places, you will have a f experience. And my favorite food, which it's not healthy, but hey, it's my favorite food. It is beans on top of french fries. I know it's not full Mexican. I get it. And then on top of that, uh, cheese, nacho cheese, and nachos, and some salsa. All together, it just, it's just something that you have to experience. On a more serious note burritos now the burritos uh, are a lot smaller if you go in mexico or to a traditional mexican restaurant than a local canadian like because i'm in canada or american market many times they're double the size the local traditional restaurants are half the size but they still fill you up because they what they put inside the burritos what it comes to different is you can get hard shelf shelf shell sorry not shelf or hard, soft wrapped up 
Burrito. Same thing with the tacos. The tacos can be soft and the normal tacos, they stay like this or they can be tacos that stay like that. So they're flat on the bottom. Either way, try to experience it. You won't regret it. And so uh, the new Mexican cantina is named after the Mexican general Porfirio Diaz. Location was, oh sorry, location will be, because it just started, 151 East 8th Avenue. You will find classical Mexican cantina style food like Torricos and warm tortillas. They the core from what I hear, I have not been there yet. It is not Mexican, it looks more like French. But the food from what I hear, it is Mexican, traditional Mexican food. Vancouver Art Gallery has raised $340 million out of the $400 million budget that they were trying to raise, which is 85%. But with the building costs being much higher now, they are looking to alter the design for their new home. Walt Disney said on Tuesday, it will nearly double its capital expenditure for its parks business. That makes sense because they are planning to build a few more Walt Disney Parks. So uh, that makes sense that they are planning to nearly double. It will be about $60 billion over the next 10 years. This was announced by Disney CEO Bob Eager and Josh Dam Damaro, the company Parks Chief. Science World will host a free science and tech event this Friday. It will be free and fun day. Excuse me. By the for the thousands of families to that are underrepresented in our community. Young women and girls, indigenous students, people with disabilities, and young people living in remote and rural communities. Amazon will play a major part of it from what I hear. They bring in some of the Amazon robots, but that's just a rumor, so that might not happen, but it seems like Amazon is bringing in a whole bunch of new technology so that all these underprivileged people and young kids that cannot see science in action, they will see Amazon technology as well as, well as obviously Science World. A travesty in illegal gold mining I was sent a video from Venezuela by a friend of mine. Yeah, I got friends. Like I said, I think between all the platforms, I have over 15,000 friends now. So they're sending me videos not from British Columbia only, but especially when they're doing reporting from outside the country. In Venezuela, about a thousand kids, children, some as young as 10, mine in gold area, under using, including, this is a travesty, using mercury. Many of them, they cannot even 
read and write because they start mining gold to sell to the western countries. These mines are illegal. They're not run by the government. How this video is posted? I don't know if it's posted yet. This video was from an independent reporter that went with government officials, soldiers from Venezuelan army. They went inside a Venezuelan illegal mine and they tried to seize it. In return, there was a firefight. The Venezuelan illegal miners went grab guns, I guess, that they had there. I don't know where they got the guns. I'm assuming they were there already. And there was a firefight between Venezuelan government soldiers and the illegal miners. The illegal miners don't care about the kids. Like I said, most of them are 10 or younger sometimes even, which is scary. And they use the kids because they can go in and they don't know any better and then even after they get the material they go and use them to step on water with mercury to separate like use water with mercury by hand and step in it to separate the gold from the rest of it so ask yourself where is the gold coming from it's hard to know because the gold is going to go to another supplier and that supplier probably is clean it'll be like Peru or something else declared then from Peru it's going to go to Switzerland and from Switzerland it's going to come in here and we have no idea where the gold came from it will be a free fun event Wow, I went back, sorry. A couple of minutes in my back. Now, let's move on. Now, this is scary. United Airlines is the latest airline company to announce that they found and confirm fake parts in the plane engines. They promised to replace all the plane engines before the supplier that provided those parts for the engine and fixed the engines, which was AOG Technology. Other airlines have used this company, so I'm assuming there'll be more announcing. So far, other uh, AOG companies that used for their engine, the supplier, the fixed site, include Southwest Airlines from the USA and Virgin Australia Airlines. I feel sorry for Sam Beckham Freed. He is a crook. He should go to jail. I don't feel sorry for that. But I feel sorry for the pressure his parents put on him. It's coming out now that he was pressured to send millions by his dad to the family so that they can live a lifestyle that they cannot afford. His dad sent a nasty email saying, I only got $200,000 American. I thought I'm supposed to get a million dollars from you. He then got his mom to phone Sam Freed personally, Sam Beckham Freed personally, and he basically in less than two weeks he increased his dad's salary from sixteen thousand six hundred sixty-seven dollars per month to eighty thousand dollars per month, and. Not only that, less than two weeks later, he sent 
10 million dollars to his parents in cash from Alameda LTD. How can you blackmail your own son? Well, I don't, I don't, I, $200,000 a year for doing absolutely nothing is not enough. You promised me a million. Then his mom phones and is recorded because now the government has the recordings. And his mom phones and says, hey, you promised your dad a million a year. So he, he increases to a million. And I guess something happened that probably was other conversations between them. He sends less than two weeks later $10 million in cash to his parents just to make his parents happy. That's insane. I don't care that he was a crook. His parents are equally as crook to me now than he is. Sorry. Vancouver police has boosted security after Trudeau accused India being involved in the killing of the Sikh leader Hardeep Singh Nizar in Canada. Kelowna is planning for a real estate boom driven by the UBC Okanagan market due to Okanagan downtown campus expansion which will expand the student population from 12,000 to 20,000 by 2040. UBC Okanagan area expansion will inc also include a simulated hospital world, including also public art, gallery, and grand atrium. A new federal party has announced it will be forming in Canada under independent new Brunswick MLA Dominic Cardi, and it's going to be called Canadian Future. It remains to be seen what will happen to them or what they will be able to achieve. Breaking news again regarding the India and Canada conflict that is boiling the diplomatic wise. India suspends all visa services to Canada amid attention sorry amid tensions over the killing of Khalistan Hardip Singh Nizar. This comes from a friend of mine in India now stuck. He's going to plan to travel to Pakistan and fly from Pakistan back to Canada. There, the news now say over killing of the extremist. It looks like things are developing very fast. Latest news is Europe electric cars reached 21% of the market share in Europe in August 25th, sorry, in August 2023. That means 165,000 units, a hand, sorry, 165, this makes no sense, but 165, 165, so almost 166,000 units were electric. Hybrids accounted for 23.9% of the sales, and the diesels were completely collapsing to eight years low when eight years ago they had 50% and above market share. Now they have 15.5 market share. Saudi Arabia has announced, I guess because they're catching a lot of counterfeit money, that anybody caught with counterfeit money in Saudi Arabia will face 25 years in jail and up to 500,000 of their currency. World 
top three largest airports are King Fahad International Airport, DMM. It has 774 square kilometers, also known as Daman Airport, based as Daman, sorry, based in Saudi Arabia. It commenced in 1999. Denver International Airport, D-E-N, is 137 square kilometers. This is in Denver, Colorado, USA. Istanbul Airport, I-S-T, 76 square kilometers. That is in Istanbul, Turkey. Team Canada is calling on to play the youngest player who ever signed a contract with a Canadian team professionally. His name is, and I hope I pronounce his name properly, Tarika Tahid. He earlier made history when he, at 16 years old, signed a professional contract with Vancouver FC, which play in Canadian Premier League. He is from Maple Ridge, British Columbia. And last news of the day, tennis legend Roger Federer dropped by a, a kid's tennis camp at UBC. He told the kids international reflection and self-criticism, sorry, internal reflection and self-criticism that we all deal with. He went on to say, ask your mentors for their opinion since they're extremely valuable. If you like the content you heard and my content, obviously, please click subscribe and click like. It costs you nothing and you will help me be able to reach more people. By reaching more people, I'll be able to make more content, content better. Thank you very much. My full videos will be able to be found on YouTube and Rumble. My 10 minutes video, which are shorter, will be found on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, X, former Twitter, all under Mikhail Boncia, M H sorry, M I C H A I L B O N C E A. Have a wonderful day and see you later today.